Jay Bolecki from Varanasi. All right, so I think it comes across well in my videos that I love India. But today I want to talk about the things that annoy me about India, the things that I dislike about India. So all right, as I take this river boat down the river Ganges, I'm going to discuss with you the 10 things that I hate about India. Let's do it. Okay, the first thing, number 10, that I dislike about India is a thing that every tourist has to do before they even come to India. And that is fill in the online visa application form for the e-visa. India is famous for its tech, for its IT, for people who, who understand computers so well, programmers. They work all over the world. And yet, the Indian e-visa online system is the most convoluted, the most complicated, the most user-unfriendly system I've ever used online. It doesn't work half the time. You try to upload your passport page, it doesn't work. It rejects it. It doesn't work on um, Safari. It only works on Chrome. Um, you try and pay, it says your payment was rejected. It is so frustrating that I can imagine a lot of tourists who come for the first time or who want to come for the first time just think, you know what, forget it, I'll go somewhere else. The Indian government, the tourist authority or whoever is in charge of the e-visa online processing system has to sort it out. It is farcical. It is the most frustrating website I've ever used. So number 10, worst thing about India, things I hate about India is the online e-visa website. It is terrible. Number nine on things I hate about India is people who don't respect beauty spots. You'll be driving up somewhere in Himachal Pradesh up in the mountains and people will just be throwing their litter everywhere. You know, they'll finish a carton of cigarettes or a packet of cigarettes, they'll throw it on the floor. They'll drink a bottle, they'll throw it on the floor. Um, litter is kind of the government's problem here, but at least in a beauty spot, like take it with you, you know? Like you come, you travel all this way to a mountain pass in Himachal Pradesh or in Ladakh or in Kashmir and you just litter, you throw your litter there. People have to respect the country a little bit more. So um, yeah, the litter at beauty spots is number nine of things I hate about India. Number eight on things I hate about India is tourist touts. Now, you only really get them in t cities like Varanasi or in Pushkar or in um, in places where tourists go, maybe in Goa, and what they do is this. The reason why I hate them is because they come up to you in a fake way and they'll say, hey, where are you from? Oh, wow, do you like my city? What do you think about India? And you think that they're a genuine person. They're interested in you, interested in your opinion about their country. And so you stop and you talk to them and you engage them in conversation. And then they hit you with the, hey, come to my shop. And you're like, oh man, that's why you stopped me. Not because you were interested in me in any way or my, what I think about India, but you just wanted to get me into your shop to buy some bloody Kashmiri Pashmina or something. So tourist house, people who are fake and come up to you and only want to chat to you to get what they can out of you. That's number eight. Number seven of things I hate about India is Vodafone. I got a SIM card when I first arrived and every two bloody minutes, Vodafone send me a SMS message from some company or something. I mean, I'm trying to do something on my phone and one SMS will come. And then I'll switch it off and 30 seconds later another one and 30 seconds later another one. It's like, come on guys, are you serious? Sometimes I can't use my phone because of the number of SMS messages that I'm receiving from Vodafone. Also, their internet is terrible. If you're coming to India, don't get a Vodafone SIM card. Use some other one because their 4G hardly ever works. It will come on for a minute, disappear for half an hour. So Vodafone SIM cards, things I hate about India. Number six on things I hate about India. People spitting on me. Yesterday here in Varanasi, I was spat on three times. Twice on my shoes and once on my arm. People don't look, they just, it's so natural for them just to spit in the street, either if they're spitting out some palm juice or just spitting. And it like, it hits you and they normally say, oh, sorry, but it's like, it's too late, man. You just put your spit on me. You know, so people who are spitting, if you want to spit, bloody do it like with some decorum, do it like in a gutter or something, or have a look first and make sure that no one's walking past you. You'll be walking past the entrance way to a shop and someone's sitting in their shop and they'll spit out and it'll hit you. It's disgusting. So spitting, list of things I hate about India. Okay, number five, 
things I hate about India. The mosques. And what I mean by that is the call to prayer at five o'clock in the morning. I'll be lying asleep in my guest house and suddenly I'm woken up by Allah Akbar. And I'm like, dude, it's five o'clock in the morning. So when you get a hotel in India, never get one anywhere near a mosque because you will be woken up. It seems to me a little bit inconsiderate that everyone has to suffer just because some people need a reminder to go to the mosque. I mean, it's like me knocking on someone's door at four in the morning and saying, Oi, come to the church. You'd be like, what the hell, dude? So yeah, the mosques and their call to prayer at five in the morning on things I hate about India. Number four on things I hate about India, other tourists. I don't know what it is with tourists who come to India, but India is such an amazing place. It's so interesting, it's so fascinating, it's so colourful. The people are so friendly and outgoing. And yet tourists, when you see them, 99% of them, they don't talk to the locals. They keep their heads down, they stay in groups. You know, the Israelis stick together, the French stick together. You know, the, um, the Germans stick together. And it's like, people, why are you here? What, I mean, what are you doing? You're just sitting in your cafes, eating your banana pancakes, you know, terrified to go out, terrified to talk to Indian people. It's like, you're the most miserable bunch of people. India's spectacular. Dive in, it's not a battle, it's an adventure. Dive into it and, and enjoy it. Meet people, laugh, smile when you walk around. But the amount of tourists I see who have face like smacked asses, you know, it's like, dude, why are you here? You seem to be having such a shitty time, but you go somewhere else. So yeah, so um, number four is other tourists. Smile, people. Number three on things I hate about India. People who have some power, i.e. people with uniforms. Whether that be people like immigration officers at the airport, policemen, security guards, whoever it is, it seems, once you put a man in a uniform in India, they seem to become very proud and want to like treat you like you're a piece of dirt, basically. You know, they don't know how to act professionally. Now, not all people, of course, I'm exaggerating. But the only ever time I have like some problems in India with people is when they have a uniform on. And for some reason, as soon as they get a uniform, they feel like they can talk to you like you're nothing, you know? Policemen shout at you if they don't want you to film somewhere. Instead of saying, excuse me, no filming, they start screaming at you. Hey, 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 buy up, hey, hey, no filming, no filming, hey. And you're like, whoa, what the hell, dude? Just ask me nicely. You know, in the airport, the same thing happened to me. Airport staff running out and screaming at me because I haven't had my camera in my hand. You know, instead of saying, are you filming? And I wasn't. They started screaming at me, you know, like, hey, what are you doing? How dare you film here? And I'm like, my sir, bad answer, yeah? I'm not filming. Yeah, problem, huh, nah? So, um, yeah, people in uniforms here seem to love the power and seem to like to use that power over other people. So, yeah, so um, people in uniforms, things I hate about India. Number two on things I hate about India is this noise. Now, there's a certain noise that I don't like here and you hear it everywhere. You'll be having a nice meal in a nice restaurant or you'll be walking down the street or sitting in a cafe and suddenly you'll hear I can't even do it. But basically people getting phlegm out of their throat. I don't know why it's such a common sound. In England I never hear it. Anywhere else in Russia where I've traveled I never hear it. But here in India and they get this phlegm and they spit it out or they don't spit it out. Yesterday I was in a cafe here, in a restaurant rather, and the waiter, he was waiting for me to take my order, and suddenly he's went and got all this phlegm out of his throat, and I'm like, my sub, yeek, yeah. I mean, have a little bit of respect, dude. You know, but that is the sound of India, people clearing their throats. So um, that is number two. It's such a disgusting sound, but I hear it all the time. That is number two on things I hate about India. Okay, finally, number one, the thing that I hate most about India. It's so bloody addictive. It's such a fascinating place. You meet more interesting people in an hour in India than you meet in a lifetime in England, you know? There's such open people that they're so, um, they're so out there. They're not afraid to show their personalities, you know? And that means, the reason I hate that is because I just want to keep coming back and back and back and spending all my money on flights and visas and coming to India. It's such a big world. There are so many places that I should be exploring, but because India is so addictive, I keep coming back here. 
So um, yeah, that's the number one thing about India that I dislike. It's so amazing. I wish it was less amazing and then maybe I'd have time or, you know, a desire to go to other places. But I'm always coming to India. So um, that's it, guys. Those are the 10 things that I hate about India. Share your views in the comments and tell me what you hate about India. All right, guys. Jay Bolicki from Varanasi. Firmilenge.